Godzilla has grown angry over the years, and he decided the oceans are his. Coastal cities around the world have become ghost towns. This has led to a huge shortage of fish. As a fisherman from Florida, I was forced to move, but I'm not giving up that easy. Can we become the largest fish farmer in America? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back in everybody. We are here on episode two of Becoming a Fish Farmer. And of course, we still got a long ways to go. I mean, we're nowhere even near that goal, but we got all this farm work to do because we moved back to our farm with our father. And if I want to stay here, I got to work the fields. That's fine. Once we get done working the fields, we'll focus on building our fish farm operation. And looks like my father's over there in the grass field needs to be unloaded. As far as this grass goes, we're just going to dump it off here in this fermented silo. It's going to turn it into silage. The silage will be used for feeding our cows. We can even take a quick look into the cows area. Let's see here. 80% on the silage. TMR would be the best, obviously, but we don't quite have that. It looks like they're getting a little low on the straw. We might have to do something to touch that up. But I am a little concerned about this production not having enough room either. Let's go ahead and deactivate those because that's a waste of money. They're not being used. What I'm really concerned about here is haylitch. It's called haylitch. Okay. Just now noticed that. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, I got a good laugh out of it. But it only holds a million liters here. It's a little over. Not a perfect ratio of a one for one. It's a little over, which is the first time I'm ever seeing that. But our grass only holds a million liters. And we didn't even make it one whole headland around the grass field that got mowed. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be enough room in that thing for all this grass. For the wheat, we're just going to go ahead and put it in the silo right over there in that direction. Now there's three silos going up there. So that means I could put three different crops in it, right? Or three different items. But there's also these two right here that I can't use. It's just purely decorative. So I'm going to say I could get up to five different ones and we'll see if that even changes to just doing dumping them all in there <laughs> because that's kind of how this game is anyways. You could dump as many as you want in there unless you purchase the ones that only take one crop type, which I did not. But let's go ahead and get this unloaded. We'll even see what all we got in here. Right now we got a bunch of straw in there, 804,000 liters. Silage, we have 234,000 liters. Pig food, 146,000 liters. Yes, I did mention before pig food is something we actually buy. And I'm going to have to go to the store later on today and probably buy some. It's a good price to buy right now. Might as well take advantage of it now. We try to buy it once a year. I'll have to take the farm credit card or use the store account. I can't even remember what they're using nowadays. It's been a while since I've been on second trailer of grass coming in here and have you ever heard of having too much grass, too much silage? That might be a thing here. <laughs> no, not really. I'm sure we can sell this off, make a good profit for the farm. And hopefully, not yet, I haven't talked to my dad quite yet, but hopefully my dad will allow me to use some of that money for setting up our fish farm because it's, this is technically my job. I mean, he's not really even paying me either. I got to have a nice sit down, talk with him a little bit later about that. Just finishing up the last of the wheat harvest over here. Now I need to actually go through and pick up all the straw for me to be considered done with my work or chores, or I don't know, it's kind of weird being back home, <laughs> working for my dad. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, I got to go through, pick up the straw, and we don't exactly have anything to do that because my father is currently using it to pick up the grass. While that's going on, we'll just go ahead and head into town and look at getting some pig feed and maybe a few other things. Kind of reintroduce myself, talk to everybody, let them know I'm back in town and I'll be out here working on the farm with my dad. I'm sure a lot of people are excited to see me. You know, I've been working on feeding the cows a little bit here and there and I caught my dad come up here and drop off some grass in the fermenting silo and ended up talking to him about where the farm credit card is or we still got a store account. He told me the credit card by the front door on that entry table and good luck. I don't know what the good luck was about, but okay, well... <laughs> We'll see what that's about. Let's go ahead and park this out of the way for now. We're not going to put it up. We're not quite done with it today. Just going to get it out of the way while I head into town. While grabbing that credit card there, I noticed a huge stack of bills that said past due. Maybe that's what he meant by good luck. But I'm going to go ahead and head into town anyways. Maybe get a little bit of info from the locals. Maybe they know what's going on because my dad's definitely not going to tell me anything. Looks like there might only be one more partial forage wagon of grass out there on the field. Not bad. I don't know how many trips this is. I think four or five. I wouldn't exactly count. I know we got a lot in there. I have been emptying the silage out and using it to feed the cows, so that's not going to be an exact number. We can look here and see we are almost up there to that 1 million liters. Ooh, I hope this thing goes faster than this. I mean, it's already going pretty fast, I think. Being at one time speed and seeing it move the, right there that fast, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just imagine if I speed up the time. Arriving at the store now, just admiring all these nice tractors over here. Ooh. I mean, some of ours, they definitely need to be upgraded some newer. Maybe one day. Looks like we got some front row parking, though. And this thing's so big, might as well take up two spots. 
Yeah, I'm going to be that guy. Looks like store hours, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hey, we are good. Let's head on in. It's 9 a.m. right now. This is all we ended up getting out of that last trailer bit. Let's go ahead and dump it off. And I don't know exactly how much we got all together. Maybe four or 500,000 liters. That depends on four or five trailers. Oh, man, that church back there in the background. That looks really cool. Just seeing that through the trees. Sorry. <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. I didn't even notice that the whole entire time I've been playing this. <laughs> gonna go ahead and get the tractor all set up to pick up the straw sadly i can't exactly do a worker on here because i ended up doing this work manually so there's no course for it to follow uh, i came here for an extension cord let's see if uh, we can go ahead and get this i'll talk with uh old friend here turns out i'm leaving without an extension cord the credit card and store account we have here is all maxed out actually on default my dad hasn't been making any of the payments so this is not good i talked a little bit about the store owner there and he actually mentioned my dad probably about the loose farm so i need to figure something out and actually confront him about this and sit down and talk to him about it i know he's not going to want to he's just going to push it off and try to continue working hard and get it paid off but uh he needs my help i might have to actually help him out i did notice a few things missing from the farm like how are we supposed to get our crop to the town to the market we used to have an old semi and trailer to do all that stuff and even a gooseneck trailer that would hook up to my dad's ford but it doesn't appear to be around the farm unless i missed it somewhere in our largest field that i remember us owning at one point is ready to harvest but it didn't tell me anything about harvesting it so it might not even be our field anymore this is not looking good out here now picking up the straw and makes a nice bedding for the pigs and cows that's what we're going to use for and i just stopped in talk to my dad a little bit he's inside resting up and i told him just take a break i'm gonna get out here work this field and give him a second and mention something about everything getting declined and he said he knows and i asked him if he wanted to talk about it he said no before i headed out here though i went ahead and talked to him about the idea of doing a fish farm because that's my background i mean with a little bit of farming as a kid and teenager growing up here besides that i went into fishing and fish farm is kind of a big demand right now because the oceans are not able to be fished in and i pitched that idea to him he said nope absolutely not as long as he still owns this place that will never happen here so that's not looking good i may have to end up buying my own property outside of here but until then i get to work this land for free because he said he's also not going to be paying me either i mean he has no money to pay me i'm gonna have to figure something out if y'all are enjoying this series, please make sure you hit that like button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section because they're always welcome, very much appreciated, and very much needed. And if y'all could do me a huge favor, check out this video right here. Let me know what all I did wrong with it because it's kind of my worst performing video as of right now on this channel. And until next time, y'all take care.